Hey guys, it's me, Troy Dellinger, and tonight I am going to be talking about uh, Israel uh, being overthrown in the re in the wilderness, and I've been reading through uh, the Bible uh, for biblical history, and right now I've been in the Torah. I am going to conclude the Torah uh, in this audio recording tonight, and um yeah, I've just been uh, reading through biblical history uh, just to edify and for lessons and, and spiritual purposes like that and to uh, uh, share the gospel uh, and, and show how the gospel is found in the Bible. And I'm going to be doing more videos like this on this channel. I've been having to take a break uh, from my videos because I've been busy with a lot of stuff. I've been switching different channels and I just haven't had a lot of time. But now uh, I'm going to continue on what I was doing and... Uh, for new viewers, again, you can find it all on my playlist, Biblical History and Events. Uh, it's on my, uh, it's found on my channel called Troy Dellinger, and uh, this series has been taking place on all three of my channels, from Troy Dellinger to Christian Studio Productions, and now I'm going to finish it. I'm going to try to finish it up, Lord willing, on uh, Bible Video Productions. Uh, and I started in the book of uh, Genesis. So right now, I am going to, again, like I said, I'm going to conclude uh, the Torah. And I'm going to be looking at uh, Israel and the fate of Israel. And then we're going to wrap it up to the next uh, book of the Bible. Uh, and the history that is found within that book. Um, so just to give a brief review. So Moses has been leading Israel since he uh, led them out of Egypt. And... Uh, they built a tabernacle that was in uh, my previous video and it talks all about the tabernacle and uh, symbolic meanings of that and uh, the purpose of the tab tabernacle and things like that. Uh, so now I'm going to be con uh, going forward now and I'm going to be looking at the journeys of Israel and uh, the apostasy of Israel when they were overthrown in the wilderness and then that's going to be uh, pretty much it for its for Israel's history as far as the Torah is concerned. Um, so I'm going to start in Numbers uh, 14 verses 26 through 30. And the Lord spake unto Moses and to Aaron, saying, How long shall I bear with this evil congregation which murmur against me? I have heard the murmurings of the children of Israel which they murmur against me. Say unto them, as truly as I live, saith the Lord, as ye have spoken in mine ears, so will I do to you. Your carcasses shall fall in the wilderness, and all that were numbered of you, according to your whole number from twenty years old and upward, which have murmured against me. Doubtless ye shall not come into the land concerning which I swear to make you dwell therein, save Caleb the son of Jephunneh and Joshua the son of Nun. So that's in a very important key uh, last verse because that uh, one of those people, uh, Joshua, is, is who I'm going to be reading about on my next video. Um, so basically what's going on is Israel is under judgment. Israel has been wandering in the wilderness. They haven't been faithful to God. Uh, they uh, broke his covenant. They murmured against God. And... Uh, they didn't trust God, and they uh, didn't go into the land because they were afraid of uh, how big the giants were. Uh, so they were fearful, and they didn't trust God. So God uh, brought judgment on them for complaining, for murmuring, for not trusting Him. And He said that you won't uh, go into the land. That the only people that are going to go into the land are Joshua and Caleb and the next generation and that basically the whole generation was going to be under judgment and and they felt because they fell into apostasy apostasy and they fell against God so there's very important lessons that we can learn from this first of all uh, that this teaches us that once saved always saved is a false doctrine to people that believe that once saved always saved they say well you're always going to be saved no matter what and if you're God's people then you're going to stay saved uh, no matter what uh, but that wasn't the case with Israel because Israel uh, fell away from the Lord and they were judged. 
So if God is going to judge Israel, he won't show any partiality to us as Christians, especially as Gentile believers, uh, if we don't trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Because if he brought judgment on Israel, he'll bring judgment on everybody else if we don't stay faithful to him. Uh, so let's read uh, Jude, Jude 1 verse 5. It says here, I will therefore put you to re remembrance, though you once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. So again, we see the word salvation here. We see after they were saved, uh, they were destroyed, and you'll be destroyed too even after you get saved. If you turn away from the Lord like uh, Israel did, if you go into backslide and go back into the world and live that old sinful lifestyle, then uh, you will also be under judgment and you'll be destroyed according to the book of Jude. Um, and we also learned some more lessons, and I'm going to read 1 Corinthians 10. And I'm going to start at least on verse 5. But with many of them God was not, not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things were our examples, to the intent that you should not lust after evil things as they also lusted, neither be ye idolaters, as some of them, as is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Neither let us commit fornication, as some of them committed, and fell in one day three and twenty thousand. Neither let us tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted, and were destroyed of serpents. Neither murmur ye, murmur ye as some of them also murmured, and were destroyed of the destroyer. Now all of these things happen unto them for as examples, for, and they are written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come. Wherefore, let him that think, thinketh he stands take heed lest he fall. So, uh, this this is a biblical warning that these people that everything that happened uh, to Israel is used as a warning towards us uh, and given as an example. And it's uh, intended to give us a lesson that we shouldn't uh, fall into lusting because all these uh, sins that Israel committed, if we commit into those sins, then we'll fall to fornication, uh, lust. Idolatry, those were our examples of some uh, sins that were listed. Uh, murmuring. Murmur is when you just, uh, you're not thankful and you're not grateful for what God's done. So you start complaining, you start whining. And uh, God brought judgment on Israel for that. God really hates it. He does not like it. Um, so, uh, Moses, uh, even though he was a righteous man and a saved man, and I do believe that he did go to heaven. Uh, he had a couple personal things going on with himself because uh, he did commit sins uh, on certain occasions, and he did repent of it. He got the sin dealt with, uh, but uh, you know he he had anger towards Israel for their uh, just their unfaithfulness, and it started to get to his head. So he uh, just showed anger and uh, broke the rock and. Uh, uh, he, he just had a very bad temper tantrum, and and so you know God, as a punishment, said that not even Moses was allowed to go enter into the promised land. He was allowed to see the promised land, but he never did enter it. Uh, so uh, Moses was uh, punished for this, and then eventually he died, and they had his uh, burial and all that kind of stuff. So uh, that's going to be it for. Uh, this uh, part of the Bible and we'll move forward to Joshua in my next book and thanks for watching